So you want to make more money? Maybe you want to complement your salary with an extra source of income or you're saving a deposit for a house. Starting a side hustle is a great way to make an extra source of income. Nowadays, starting a side hustle is easier than ever. All you need is a laptop or a phone and an internet connection. People are making extra cash by doing a side hustle that they enjoy. Back in 2017, I started my side hustle while working as a GB trader. I wanted to use my knowledge to help and impact other doctors on their journey. I'm going to tell you more about my side hustle in this video. Hi, welcome to this channel. My name is Dr. Owen Kwan. I'm on a mission to help doctors lead a happier and fulfilling life. In this video, we're going to look at five side hustles that you can start from home. I'm going to rate each of these five side hustles based on three different criteria. The first one is ease to get started. The second one is ease to make £1,000 a month. And last but not least, time intensity. Let's jump right into the first one. A side hustle that is not hard to get started is to monetize skills that you already possess. This is known as freelancing. Do you enjoy writing? If the answer is yes, then you could start monetizing that skill. If you're interested to write and you're also a doctor, you could start writing in healthcare professional literature. So there's a wide range of organizations who are looking for medical writers to educate patients or healthcare professional about medical problems, about solutions, about products and services that these companies provide. With so many research being conducted, there's a growing demand for medical writers in healthcare communication market and pharmaceutical industries. Medical writing open opportunities for medical education, for medical journalism. You could start writing a chapter for a textbook or you could start writing MCQ questions for educational organizations. If you're interested in medical journalism, you could start writing articles for newspapers or for a blog. Doctors are well positioned to be medical writers with their expertise. There are doctors on platforms like Fiverr who are making anywhere from $50 to $100 an hour. So if you're interested to go down that route, then you can start a portfolio of your writing so that clients can look at your work and then you can find clients on platform like Fiverr. Let's rate medical writing out of five on ease to get started. I'll give it three out of five. It's relatively easy to get started, but you still have to put in some work to get started. How easy is it to make a thousand pound a month with medical writing? I'd say it's probably going to be two out of five for me. Last but not least, time intensity. It is quite time intensive to start medical writing, so I'll give it three out of five. The next side hustle is teaching. Have you ever considered monetizing your knowledge? Many of you have a lot of knowledge, but you're not monetizing that knowledge. So you could start a side hustle in teaching and start monetizing that knowledge. You probably have some experience of teaching at school or university. You can monetize the knowledge that you have accumulated by teaching somebody who is younger than you at some point in their life where they are doing the same exam or test that you might have done in the past. Starting a side hustle out of something you love to do is an excellent way to ensure its success. I know some of you may be held back by formal qualification. You might think, I don't have a teaching qualification, how can I teach? Honestly, you don't have to be a great teacher to get started. You don't need a teaching qualification. If you can provide value by helping someone to learn something, then you might be able to find people who are willing to pay if you can get these people results. If you're a university student, you can choose your high school students in your spare time. Pick a subject. You might want to teach somebody math or biology. You could make a few hundred dollars a month. I know someone who started to tutor students preparing for their medical school entrance exam. That side hustle grew to a profitable business making well over a thousand pounds per month. If you have passed your medical school entrance exam, you probably have the knowledge and experience needed to teach other students who will see the same exam. It's so important to try things and when I started doing medical education, I actually started by teaching medical students and I thought that was something that I found really rewarding, which is something I volunteered to present, to teach. And if you don't try it, then it's very difficult to be able to know whether this is something you want to build in your portfolio career. I would rate teaching ease to get started two out of five. It's not that easy. You need to have a skill to teach somebody. Ease to make a thousand pound a month probably two out of five. It's not that easy to get paid teaching. 
time intensity would be four out of five. You need to prepare your lesson beforehand. You need to know your subject very well before you can teach it to somebody else. So you'll spend a lot of time in teaching. But just so that they're exposed to how much time it takes to prepare new material. Like if you're trying to create a, a new course, that's a full day that might have six, seven hours of teaching. It might take a hundred hours of you know, research, preparation, you know, putting materials together, running it once, you realize some things could be improved, some things you could take a bit longer than you thought to optimize. It can take a lot of preparation to do it. If you like to work with people and help them to develop and achieve their desired goal, then coaching might be a good side hustle for you. It is really satisfying to help a client achieve their desired goal and see the transformation in that client during coaching program. Having a coach has helped me to learn and grow my business. I truly believe that coaching is powerful, but I'm probably biased. Some of you may know I coach doctors on the side. The clients I coach come to me because they're stuck in a career and want to unlock their potential. Coaching is something I find very satisfying because I get to work with a client one-on-one -on -one and support that individual with specific needs and wants. The best part is when clients experience breakthrough and crush their goals. Coaches usually focus on a specific niche, for example, career, life, performance, or mindset. Coaching is a high paying activity. Personally, I've paid $500 an hour to be coached by someone who makes seven figures a year. It was expensive, but I did it because ignorance costs more than that. Every year somebody don't know how to make six figures is costing them at least a hundred grand a year. Let that sinks in. That person could try and make six figures on their own, but it may take them five to 10 years to figure out how to make six figures. Or that person can learn from someone else who has already reached that level of success and get closer to their goal in a shorter period of time. Paying to learn from somebody else's experience, from the mistakes and failure is almost like you're buying success. Paying someone more successful to learn from them doesn't seem that expensive when we consider the opportunity cost of not making 100 grand a year due to ignorance. The price of ignorance is significantly more expensive than paying to get knowledge and guidance from a coach who has done it. Not every coaching program is worth the time, money and commitment though. There are many coaches who promise a lot but don't deliver. And everybody can call themselves a coach. So it's important that if you're thinking about starting a side hustle as a coach, you need to make sure that you can provide something valuable for your client. Easy to get started as a coach is one out of five. It's not that easy to get started to find people who are willing to pay you as a coach when you just start because they might not know you or they don't know whether you're going to deliver. Easy to make a thousand a month would be two out of five for me. It is something that is well paid but in the beginning, it's going to be difficult to make at least a thousand pound a month when you have not established your coaching practice. Coaching is quite intensive, so time intensity would be four out of five because you have to spend time with that person and you have to be physically present in the coaching. If you're interested to make money while you sleep, then this side hustle is going to be attractive to you. This is selling digital product. The magic of selling digital product is that it is something that you can do once and then you can be paid many times as long as there are people who are ready to pay for that. The magic of digital product is that you put in upfront work, then you can sit back and enjoy the fruits of your labor as long as people continue to purchase your products. There's no limit on how much you can make. Selling digital products allows you to make money while you sleep. People have successfully replaced the 95 selling checklists, templates, ebooks, and courses online. Checklists and templates can easily be made in an afternoon. Ebooks and courses take more time and effort to build. This guy started selling Notion templates online and has made over $100,000 a year and has built a business with it. Selling digital products sounds easy, but you need to design and create a product people will be happy to pay. You can have the best product, but if nobody has heard of it, you won't make any money. You need to know how to market your products. Starting a digital product can be done at a very low cost. 
you don't need much money. All you need is a computer to get started. If you're considering digital products as your side hustle, don't expect to make a lot of money in the beginning. The truth is, you might not make any money when you start. You need to be patient because things take time to grow. Easy to get started would be 3 out of 5. It is quite easy to start selling digital products. You can start by something very simple like a checklist or a template. Some people might say, oh, I don't have an audience. If you don't have an audience, you got some friends or you got Facebook where you can actually start and posting it on your Facebook. I would give 3 out of 5 for ease to make a thousand pound a month. Selling digital product can accumulate quickly when you're selling something that people really want. Time intensity is one out of five. Once you've set it and it's working, then you don't have to spend any time. You can just leave it and people are going to buy that product. Last but not least is YouTube. Creating content on YouTube is a proven path to make money online. YouTube is a very popular platform that brings in advertising revenue. It is the second largest search engine behind Google. Many creators have built businesses by leveraging the power of YouTube. I made a video in which I talk about my thoughts on starting a YouTube channel. Feel free to check it out. To monetize a YouTube channel, one needs to qualify for the YouTube Partner Program. It took me over three years of posting videos consistently before I got accepted on the YouTube partnership program, YPP. To join YPP, your channel needs to have more than 4,000 hours of watch time in the last year and have over 1,000 subscribers. YouTube channels can make anywhere from $3 to $10 per thousand views with AdSense revenue. Some niches in the finance and e-commerce space make much more revenue than $10 per thousand views. Growing a YouTube channel requires a lot of time and effort. When I started this YouTube channel, I knew nothing about making content on YouTube. I didn't know how to write a script. I didn't know how to speak in front of the camera. I didn't know how to edit videos. I needed to learn these skills from scratch. I put in a lot of time and work to get the channel off the ground. The channel is still very small. Posting content that provides value consistently for a long period of time has allowed me to grow a small audience. People who enjoy the content might then subscribe and return for more videos. If you made it to this point of the video, then smash the like button for more content like this and consider subscribing. What is the ease to get started on YouTube? It's relatively easy to get started because of YouTube short now people can just film a short video and upload it on YouTube. I give it 3 out of 5. The barrier to entry for YouTube has been very low with short videos. What is the ease to make a thousand pound a month? It is relatively difficult to make a thousand pound a month with YouTube, especially if you don't have an audience already. So if you're growing it from scratch, it's going to take you a lot of time and effort. So I'll give it one out of five. I'll give three out of five for time intensity. It takes a lot of time to research, to plan and to write these videos and then to edit them and produce them. But once you've had the video produced, then it could be watched by thousands to millions of people. I hope this video has inspired you to start thinking about starting a side hustle. Let me know down in the comment section which side hustle are you thinking that you might start and what is stopping you from starting a side hustle now? Let me know down in the comment section, I'd love to hear from you. If you're considering YouTube as a side hustle, you might want to check out the next video. In that video, I discuss how I grew my channel over a thousand subscribers and what I learned during my YouTube journey. Click the video to watch it. Take care everybody. Bye bye.